Well, this is Sinbad the Sailor, a classic Sinbad cartoon. I don't really think that's what the actual title is called. I think it's just called Sinbad the Sailor, but it's a old cartoon that's pretty darn good. I re- remember watching it as part of a six hour long classics for kids when I was growing up. It was on VHS. I, if anyone even remembers what the heck that is. So let's watch it. Uh, but first, let's turn it down a smidge. It is a little bit loud on my end. Okay. World's smartest parrot. <laughs> Let's see if we remember the lyrics to this song. Stealing treasures everywhere, gold and silver jewels rare. We are pirates of the deep blue sea. You go defying the hope. Still remember it. To be fair, I've seen it since then, but still, it's probably been a couple years. Why were they looking up at that skull and crossbones flag, and how are they not freaked out by the fact that their freaking flag is talking? Shiver me timbers, gold! <laughs> He has almost as much wind in him as our poli- as most of our politicians these days. Is that a basilisk? I don't get that. <laughs> I really hope that wasn't some bad reference that I didn't pick up on as a kid. I'm gonna bomb you. Wow, he actually hit six back and six cannons got destroyed. That consistency, that's something you don't see in these cartoons very often. But because their cat their enemy captain is a freaking abomination of nature that can do stuff like that. And has literally the world's biggest anchor. And can pull an entire ship back on his own. This guy's been eating his spinach, man. Look at those things. I just want to see their little animations again. Who's that guy in the, le- on the rigging shooting at, anyways? Yeah, I remember growing up as a kid, this part had some added sound effects for no reason, like half the cartoons in there. Wasn't so bad, except half the time the sound effects and music they added actually obscured the audio and music from the original cartoon. Now, in some cases, this might have been like for Popeye, it probably was because they didn't have the rights. So they probably just said, oh, we'll just cover the song up and that way there's no problem. But they would also cover the dialogue up, too. It's like, come on, you know. You kind of at that point you're infringing on the actual cartoon. They added sound effects to this part. He was like, "What is this, Captain 
made of. Also, yeah, yeah. Thank you, there's no details. Seriously, what the heck is he made of? He gets shot multiple times. He's the Ter- he's he is the Terminator. Yeah, Arnold said he'll be back. He meant back in time. I have a response prepared for the next part. <laughs> Never touch me! You sly dog, you caught me monologuing! Longest ship ever. Well, not really, but longest ship that we clearly saw wasn't that long ever. I mean, obviously, cruise ships are significantly longer than that. This guy, he's a, he's a mutant! By the way, we never see those sailors again, so rest in peace. Also, this is inaccurate. When pirates uh, had their skull and crossbones flag up, they typically took prisoners. If you saw a red flag, then they were out for blood. So where was the red flag? You know, it's inconsistent. What did he say? Heaven help the sailors on a night like this. I don't think that's the best, biggest of your problems. And it's not even nighttime. What the heck? I swear, I swear music like that was used in Inky and the Minor Bird, another old cartoon. Hey, just 90% of my crew just died, but cute girls, I'm horny. I also realized that... I mean, there's no detail, but they freaking... I love the lead-in, by the way. I love the instrumental. Yeah, I remember, like, I love the instrumental lead-in. Well, I mean, at least it, I mean, also, at least it's not as much detail as those Betty Boop cartoons. This is actually a really clever strategy. <laughs> He's hitting him with a pickaxe! And the captain's shooting at them. Thank goodness for them, the captain was the person who trained the stormtroopers, right? Because then they then <laughs> they literally have a problem. Like, really, I mean, actually, this is ingenious. This is ingenious. He gets the captain to shoot his own men. That is literally ingenious, Sinbad. Hi, pal. <laughs> Give him the works, boy. Yeah, that's the smile that says, yeah, I'm dead. Boys. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, this is when the acid trip begins. I guess we had to get some plot, some uh, deuces machina to get him out of that situation, right? Oh, by the way, he fell. So, R.I.P. Sinbad. I actually 
actually feel bad for that giant bird, honestly. Oh! But thank goodness uh, Sinbad's a paratrooper. I really hope they don't go for the obvious uh, racial intent here in a second. Because I remember these are exploding cigars. But seriously, what's the point with that? Wouldn't that, like... I mean, I know smoking smoking's not good for you anyways, but, like, I think that's a little bit overboard with the message, guys. Hey, what's this? No no uh, racial face when he gets soot all over him. That's very impressive for an old cartoon, I have to say. Good for you, Sinbad. Good for you. So many old cartoons would have jumped on that. <laughs> 